So the second problem with images are luminosity problems. How to get rid of luminosity problems? Well, uh, you use dodge and burn. So I'm creating a folder and this is my dodge and burn folder and I'm creating another folder inside of this. And this is my dodge la layer, dodge. And hold on, so and I'm creating a curve layer. And this curve layer, because it's the dodge layer, is going to be bright. I'm using always kind of the same um, setting here. So I learn how this works and I get used to it. And this is very, a very good way. So I'm using a layer mask on the dodge layer here and I'm clicking the Alt key on this so I get a black mask. Then I'm duplicating this and this is my burn layer and um, the curve goes right there. So it doesn't matter what kind of uh, adjustment adjustments you use. You can use uh, either curves or a gray layer or the tools from Photoshop or whatever. I really like it to have it in a folder so I can uh, easily clip in color adjustments as well. So if I use the burn tool and I get some saturation problems, I can easily fix that without painting, um, painting in with uh, painting a new mask. So um, then to make make it easier for my eye to see luminosity problems, I'm creating a new layer. And I fill this with white or with black, doesn't matter. And put this into layer mode color. So this way I get rid of all the color informations and I get the pure luminosity values. Uh, luminosity and brightness are different parts. We will link in the article to a very interesting explanation. So this is the way to do it. Uh, don't use a black and white layer or something like that, or a channel mixer or whatever. You just use the uh, color luminosity layer. So then I'm selecting brush and I'm using 0% hardness, just a normal uh, brush and with a very low flow. I'm using like 2% here. And then I start painting on the parts that are too dark and I get rid of all these little light transitions here and or I'm smoothing out the light transitions and make the skin a little bit, um, well, not softer, but a little bit smoother. I don't know. So you will start to see the differences in luminosity uh, very fast. So you will learn how to see this and it will don't take a lot of time. If you do this um, on a regular basis, then you will get really, really fast with your dodging and burning. So I'm doing this very quickly because I really want this to be a quick tip so I don't want to spend hours um, on this. Usually I'm doing like uh, 45 minutes of dodging burning on an image and um, in 45 minutes I can do basically all the light transitions. So this is the darker parts. I took care about the darker parts. Now I am take care about the parts that are too bright and just painting over it. So you see the differences here are very, very subtle. So um, this is not a, a tool that makes everything uh, magically totally awesome. It's more like a subtle uh, improvement for working on the face. So. And of course you can uh, also change the bone structure of a model here. Uh, you can um, 
get rid of problems in fabrics. You can um, actually, a lot of the things you see in an image, everything that's connected to death is, um, is uh, luminosity uh, related. So just painting over this. I'm not super precise here right now, I'm using dodge layer again. Here are some darker spots. So, well, for the sake of this quick tip, I think this is enough. You will see the difference in a second. Ah, oh, I can't stop. This is so much fun. I really love dodging and burning. Dodging and burning is something like, I don't know, like the magic um, skin softener, bone structure, fixing everything thingy. It's totally awesome. So, zoom a little bit out. See, before, after, before, after. And this was really like five minutes of dodging and burning and I already did most of the, of the problems here. Well, it's not actually problems, it's more like making it a little bit nicer. So that's the way how to deal with luminosity problems and everything that's um, connected to death Death, death, death. So that's the way how to deal with luminosity problems. And luminosity problems are actually um, in every image. It's probably not uh, an issue, but you can um, totally handle this with dodge and burn. And I think I'm going to repeat this.